am back with another unboxing video. The other day I unboxed a Lloyd Middleton doll, crying baby doll, and I'd mentioned that I had another one on order. And she arrived just now, so I cut the box open and I'm ready to unbox her. I bought this one on eBay. And uh, she came from a doll collector who is selling off Lee Middletons and some Lloyd Middletons. Oh, how cute. It's a musical little bunny. How sweet is that? It matches her ensemble. I could tell by her feet. I'm going to put that aside. She included a little bottle. Very sweet. I like this blanket. That's cute. I'm going to just lift the plastic up and see if I can just pull her straight out. Okay. So I pulled her out. She put a little diaper on her face for protection. And this is what she looks like. She didn't come with her tags or in her original box, but the artist on this one is Gail Schumacher, or maker, however you say it, tomato, tomato. She's number 436 of 750. So very sweet doll. I love her, guys. She's adorable. I really like this outfit that the seller has put on her. She just put a really cute ribbon around her head it looks like she has this little i think i saw this outfit on amazon maybe that's not where the seller got it but i did see something like it on amazon and then she just added some cute little ribbons to kind of dress it up and this is glued on i can see very cute i like that that's crafty and then this little bunny i want to turn the music on because it's a musical bear i haven't had a musical toy around her for a long time oh that's sweet her blanket is pretty. Look at the floral motif on that. So this was actually a really nice little set she came with. There's our little Baba. But I really like her face, guys. Her eyes are like an amber brown. But look at how cute she is. These little tears. So cute. And then her little turned down mouth and her dimple on her chin. She's really cute. This one, I can tell right away, has a better wig. You can see here. The hair is split from the... um the style of it but it is a full wig she has bangs and I don't know if the original seller rewigged her or moved her wig up because I can feel in the back there is she may have moved the wig because I think the wig on the other doll was much lower the cap did seem a lot smaller though on the other wig I did rewig that doll guys I, I moved quick so let me bring in the one I unboxed the other day so we can compare, you know, I love to compare. So here they are side by side. So again, this one is, the artist is Gail Schumacher. And then the artist on this one, I repulled her tag cause I didn't even tell you guys yesterday. I know I showed you the tag, but Marcy Cohen, but you can, you can see I did rewig her. This is a larger wig than she should wear. It is a wig I have on hand. It is a size 14 to 15. She actually, I measured her last night. She should be wearing 11 to 12. So I glued it just kind of in one area so it doesn't fall off. But it is a really cute little toddler hairstyle. And it is longer than her sister's here. And if you guys recall from the video yesterday, her eyes are coming across as violet. But in person, they are more of a true brown shade. But uh, the camera is picking up violet tones. But you can see the difference in their pout and how their makeup is done. Hers is much more natural looking. You know, she doesn't have the painted lips that look like lipstick. And there's even like a little gloss on her lips, like, you know, like it's wet from saliva. But definitely more of like a porcelain doll look. And this is more a realistic doll. I wish I knew what year this little dolly came out. I'm turning her over. It doesn't really say. Wouldn't that be nice if she was a signed doll with the year? That would just tell us exactly what we need to know. I'm going to go ahead and um, open up her PJs just to see... Uh, her body she is a little bit you can see she's a little bit longer than this doll if I had to put money on it and guess I would say that this doll is more recent uh, just because of how much realer she looks if realer is a word but she does she has a more realistic look to her than this doll so I'm thinking this doll is from 1994 is what her blanket had said anyway. So I'm thinking she is older than her. 
And if I can't figure it out in this video, guys, if you know, comment below what year this doll came out. So I'll probably do a little bit more research to figure out what, try to figure out anyway, what year this one came out versus this year. I just, that's just my instinct, guys. I've been looking at this specific sculpt for a really long time. This was the sculpt I wanted when I was going to buy one, but there wasn't one in the color combo that I'd wanted. I wanted a, a brunette combo. And so her eyes are uh, very light, kind of amberish, almost hazel uh, eyes. And you can tell, well, this isn't the original wig. This is a wig I put on her. And this is considered a medium brown wig on this doll. But her hair is a light brown. It's uh, with kind of a reddish hue to it. But she's so cute. I really, really like her. Oh, I love her. This one's really cute too. I do feel that she's sweet. And I hate to say this about a new doll, but she's probably gonna become a shelf baby. Uh, but this one, I would like to sit her with my other Lee Middletons. I just love this pout. It's so dramatic and she really looks like she's crying. It's so cute. Oh, poor baby girl. You'll be happy here. I know you got a permanent pout, but you'll be happy here. I promise. So anyway, guys, I'm not fully dressing her down. I could, I kind of opened her PJs up to see she does have the same body style with the one quarter limbs. Her arms are not as stuffed. So I don't know if the previous owner altered her because this one's arms are just ridiculously fat. And I do plan, if you can see this, look at the vinyl. It's overstuffed from the point of the vinyl. So I do plan to go in and remove some of her stuffing on her limbs because her thighs are the same way, her legs. I didn't like that. And I almost did that, but I was working on her wig last night. So I, I didn't start tearing her apart all the way. I just wanted to give her a cute little wig that was more appropriate for a little girl. So if you guys are interested to see what she looked like when I unboxed her, she came in a beautiful, beautiful outfit. I did put her in a little Carter's outfit and some little booties that I got on Amazon for her. But if you wanna check that unboxing out, check out my channel. I will link it in the description box. That way you guys can see what my first unboxing of a Lloyd Middleton was like. I did go into a lot of detail on this stall. So anyway, guys, so the biggest difference here is the facial sculpt. I mean, there is a, some slight differences in the body and I don't know if that was done after the fact, but she is like so cute. I love how she's dressed. I have absolutely no reason to change her. I have a feeling I'm going to be buying more of these dolls. I would like another one with this sculpt or something close to it and maybe a different color combo. Yeah, guys, so I really do like this doll a lot. I like this seller a lot. I wanna look and see what she's got for sale. I know she has sold some of these other dolls and she's liquidating her collection because of family needs. I, I did chat with her when I bought this doll. I messaged her and, and talked with her about her collection. And she has some really nice dolls and I, I like how she styles them because I noticed every doll that's for sale is in an ensemble with a little plushy or love and I like that. If you guys know me and my channel, I like that kind of stuff. So that's not necessary, but it is an extra nice selling point. I didn't have to rush her out of this outfit or change her. She's in a really sweet baby outfit. The ribbon is really cute. I love this. Her vinyl is harder. I want to try to pierce her ears. I think she'd look really cute with them pierced, but uh, I don't know if I can penetrate this vinyl. I've never pierced a doll's ears that has such hard vinyl. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I was very excited about this one sculpt. She's very beautiful and she's definitely more dramatic when it comes to her emotion of being upset. So I'm sure you're going to be seeing more of these videos of me unboxing these Lloyd Middleton dolls. I'm already hooked on Lee Middleton's. I can totally see myself buying more of these. I love, cause I, I'm actually over the moon for this one. I think she is so cute. I adore her. But that's it guys. Thanks for joining me and watching me unbox and review my second Lloyd Middleton doll. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care.